Porto is a gold shipping container equipped with immersive audio and visual technology that enables you to talk to a person in a place that's far away from you, but make it appear like you're in the same room, which uh, makes you have like a more intimate conversation, close the doors and selling your face with someone in the Porto somewhere else in the world, somewhere like Rwanda, Germany, or Mexico. That's what the Porto is. It's a way to bridge the gap between people that probably would never get to visit each other. The Porto has opened up the world for me and my neighborhood. My name is Louis Lee, and I'm a Shared Studios Porto Curator. My Porto is located in the Amani neighborhood, which is also known as the 53206, which is now known as the most incarcerated zip code in the country. 62% of adult men in this neighborhood are or have been in prison. Only time you see people gather in mass is when something bad happens, or like somebody gets shot. Last time I seen people like being so friendly, hanging out kind of happy was like when I was a kid. The Porto became kind of a global clubhouse. We had bands in the Porto. We did spoken word tournaments in the Porto. We did ciphers in the Porto. We had yoga classes in there. For Father's Day last year, we united 500 men in Milwaukee with 500 men in Newark. One of the things that we did was unique were criminal justice dialogue. And one of the powerful things that dialogue led to was us actually getting residents to talk to actual officers and made people understand law enforcement a little better. It enabled them to understand us. You got people that never left the neighborhood. The portal provided a way for people to learn about the world. Kids here have made friends with kids in Greenwich, Connecticut. They've met and learned from refugees in Iraq. It gave them the hope of, you can make it out of the worst of circumstances. Because they actually said people do it. A lot of people would just come and just want to talk just to get stuff off their chest. They didn't feel like they were being judged. It engaged people in a therapy way. I've changed my life now, but when I was younger, I was in and out of prison. Each time I got out, I left without coping skills I needed, without job prospects to keep me from falling back on hustling, still dealing with the trauma of my childhood. I can only imagine what a difference it would have made to have had the experience of a portal in prison. I could have seen regularly how much my children were growing up, while I was locked up, I still have been a president in their lives. I could have connected with job training or therapists to adjust the trauma of my youth. These days, I go back into the prisons to teach a class twice a week. Sometimes I think how much bigger my impact could be if I could portal into a lot of prisons and tell my stories and the lessons I've learned with so many people. There are so many possibilities, so many ways the portal can make the prison experience one of growth and learning.